Well, hi, y'all. Welcome to my bedroom. This is where I sleep. Um, I had this furniture made by a guy. Well, he used to call himself the furniture pimp, and he knew the people who made this furniture. And I put in my order exactly what I wanted, but unfortunately, it doesn't all fit into the trailer master bedroom. Anyways, it's uh, queen size. And I did the walls in tan. Hope you didn't see me in the mirror because I look horrible right now. And uh, over here on the wall, just I'm just going to kind of show you around. Um, got a little few stuffed horses around the room, and this bedspread was made by my ex mother in law. I think it's pretty cool. I really like it. And uh, I picked out the material, and just it really turned out good. I picked up this piece actually from an ex father in law. He unfortunately passed away and we were going through some stuff out in his garage and I found this and I painted it. It has drawers missing, but I think it still looks pretty good. And I just, anyways, I'll just show you around the room. The master bedroom's not real big. We did some trading and got this fireplace and I found that log thingy there for five bucks at a garage sale. As you can see, it's pretty tall. In fact, not all of it's in here. And uh, here's my lantern collection up here on a log I got from a garage sale. And uh, just kind of show you around here. There we go. My ex made that hat holder or hat stand or whatever you'd like to call it. I got a collection of hat pins from way long time ago. Come down, I'll show you the rest of the room. Over here, you know, I got a little fountain, my husband's clock, of course, more horses. This is Hugh Hufner, not Hefner. Made in, made in Texas by an artist, but bought in California at uh, Knott's Berry Farm. This piece here, um, I found at a garage sale. I go around the room. My ex-husband made that lamp. My design, he cut it out. And that's my kids and the frame of the lamp. Let me come over here and kind of turn it on for you. Well, hopefully turn it on for you. Anyways, I thought it was pretty cute. It's pretty tall. And these little guys are called little peepers. Little horses looking over their fence. This is a mirror I have, and I'm trying to avoid mirrors because um, I haven't cleaned up yet for myself. Anywho, this is a table that I found at a garage sale, and I painted it, and uh, it's kind of neat. I mean, like I put a lot of knickknacks in inside of it. It's like a a shadow box table, and got a lot of cute little things in there that I've collected. Mostly a lot of lighters and stuff, and stuff from the beach, and just a really, really fun table to do. I'll do a video on that some other time. Now let me come on over here on the ground. That's my husband's, well, it's kind of a toolbox for the house. I picked up this stand for hardly nothing at a garage sale, um, the saddle stand, and painted it to hold my saddle. little side table I had made with the bed and I have really long curtains in here like seven feet six feet we made this little Christian lamp too I just think it's adorable another design that I did I, I designed he made we had a we had this Texas mirror cut out made for us and also this mirror I, I bought from eBay. I'm trying to stay out of the picture. You know, it's of horses running. It's really cool when you plug it in. It makes noises of the beach and the horses whinnying. Well, anyways, whoops, gonna come back around like so. Give you a last shot of the bed here. Around the room. I really hope you enjoyed the video. And I did paint the floor. I painted the floors almost every floor in, in the house except for the kitchen and living room. And that'll about do it, y'all. Thank you for coming by. Hope you enjoyed, and God bless. Bye-bye.